gotta keep winning, I gotta keep winning, I gotta keep winning, winning, winning. Gotta keep winning, I gotta keep winning. or two on there there's no way I'm 1.6 I mean I would be 
shredded bones. I mean, I mean, I would be striated glutes around here, man, if that was the case, man. So, uh, I'm not sure about that, but 1.6, that's what it came out to be. Uh, we got our fat-free mass, which is 98.4%. Uh, we got our fat mass, which is 2.8 pounds. Our fat-free mass is 171. And check the body mass, 174.3. Now, mind you, I woke up today and I stepped on a scale and you saw I was 174.2. And I've been sipping on water ever since uh, I woke up until right now because I didn't want to chug anything or, you know, drink any caffeine or anything like that. So, I've just been sipping on the water, making sure I stay close to fasted. So, and I keep my body weight the same as when I woke up. So, 174.3, that is pretty decent for the body mass. And I like the free fat, uh, the fat free mass, which is 171.5. Pretty cool, man. I haven't, I can't even remember. See, my last competition, 2014, I did do the same test. And I don't even remember my results, man. I just do not remember. But I think I was around the same body weight, not the same percent body fat, but the same body weight. So that's pretty, I mean, that's pretty cool. Uh, what we got? We got our estimated RMR, our resting metabolic, uh, metabolic rate. Sorry, I estimated resting metabolic rate. Hey, look, no cause, man. I'm hurting. Uh, that's 2,000. That's fairly, that's fairly accurate because that's what I pretty much have been tracking uh, myself at. And then you have your estimated TEE, which is 35. So that's pretty much your, your total energy expenditure. Expenditure. I can't talk, man. I apologize. So you got your estimated TEE, which is 3,500. I had me down a little bit lower than that, but hey, that's what they got me at. And I also have been grinding a little bit harder throughout this prep, so I actually been busting ass. So 35 is pretty legit. What else we got on here? We got our body volume, 72. We got our uh, body density, which is one kilogram per liter. Uh, and all those other things. Yeah, you got your, your gas volume, your other volumes. So I think that's really important for what we wanted, but. But man, that's crazy. 1.6, right? Now, I don't know how accurate it is, like I said, guys, but hey, it got me down at 1.6. So we'll just roll with it. And uh, every time we get super lean for, you know, contest prep or anything like that, we're going to go to the bio pod and we're going to check it out and see what we got. But I'm in the sauna right now. Just jumped in here about five minutes ago. And I'm going to work out in the sauna today. So today we're just doing some simple... Um, a few body weight and some resistance band exercises. No weights today, okay? We're taking it lighter, but we're still gonna get that sweat in, which is why we're still in the sauna. Uh, let me show you what I got. I got my water jug. I'm drinking a gallon a day. So today we're doing a gallon. Spilling it everywhere. Today we're just gonna do a gallon, and then I'm gonna cut it off at around six o'clock, and just start sipping, you know? Don't want to get dehydrated. You definitely do not want to dehydrate yourself. Uh, you cause yourself to hold on to more water. So I'm not going to dehydrate myself, but I am going to get enough water in, which is a gallon, and I'm going to be sipping to avoid being dehydrated. And we're still going to do our uh, natural diuretic tonight. So I also got my uh, BCAAs. I'm actually about to get this in right now. So I'm actually about to break the fast, guys, but I need some energy. I haven't had my coffee. And this shit is good, so I'm about to get this in. Probably about uh, two or three scoops, possibly. I got my bands. I got one medium and one uh, hard. It's actually my wife's. It's for my, my needle. So uh, I got my headphones right here. I got my water bottle, of course, which I'm going to put uh, my BCAs in because I'm not really going to be sipping on the BCAs all day. I want to keep this water simply how it is, you know, just regular water, you know. And we're gonna get it in, so. Veins are already shooting through the roof. Check the quads. And also while we're in here, I'm gonna get some posing in, of course. So 
you guys are not gonna see any of that because I don't want my phone or my camera to overheat. So I'm gonna remove this, get in my zone, focus, and I'm gonna check back with you guys after the workout. All right, guys, I've been breaking my fast with 10 milliliters of coconut oil. You can't really see that, but it's this coconut oil right here, just your liquid coconut oil. And I've been doing that for quite some time, and I know I explained to you why, so I'm not going to do it here, but breaking my fast right now before I heat up my food. All right, YouTube, while I wait for my food, let me go ahead and run you down how one day out was going to go. So... Just to let you know, this might be a two-part video simply because I want to give it, give everything to you guys. I want you guys to see everything that's going down. If you are competing, thinking about competing, uh, this everything I do today will be beneficial. I mean, for the most part, you know. Uh, I mean, I've already explained to you how eating is going and things like that. But pretty much, man, the goal for today is to just get shit done. So my wife has tasked me to clean the house, you know, decent decent enough because we're going to probably have some company tomorrow because some of her friends are coming over to see the show. So they're supporting me. So I got to clean up a little bit, which is good because the more I keep myself busy today, the less I will think about food. And thinking about food is something I do all day, every day because I'm always hungry. I mean, calories are super low, you know, and right now carbs are even lower. Well, carbs are low, so... It's rough, but so that's what I'm gonna do. I gotta clean up a little bit. Uh, my wife is coming home on her lunch break, which is 12:15 or 12:30. We were gonna go out to a restaurant to eat lunch, and I was just gonna pick, you know, a healthy option. But I changed my mind on that, guys. And one reason was because of money, because we're gonna be eating a shitload of food tomorrow night and on Sunday. So to save on money, we just won't eat out. Uh, at a restaurant for lunch and uh i'm gonna go pick her up her chick-fil-a still gonna get her some food out so i'm gonna pick her up some chick-fil-a and uh, bring it back home for her so i'm gonna do that uh while i was riding the car man i was i was sitting beside the candy because you know i left my candy in the uh cup holder and i was like you know what i should get some carbs in post-workout man i should just do it i mean why not but discipline man discipline i told myself no carbs Keep the carbs low simply because we do not want to spill over it and we want to be a little bit flat to allow us to carb up tomorrow and even tonight if we need to, which is more fun than just eating carbs post-workout. I'd rather eat a lot of carbs tomorrow before the show, or a decent amount of carbs, not a lot, but I want to do that. So um, you guys might be looking at the footage of me posing right now. Um, I always do my pose down after my workouts just to see how I'm looking, uh, how I'm coming in. I think I'm pretty sharp, man. I think I'm pretty sharp. I think we can do it, guys. I think we can bring it home, bring home some uh, some gold or maybe a medallion, whatever they're giving. But $250 as well is the grand prize for this show. I think each class gets uh, 250 So that's the goal, man. We want to we do that. We want to bring it in. But... Yeah, just, that's, that's just a brief of how the morning is going to go. So cleaning up and, and get my wife some uh, some lunch. And then I got to also cut my hair. I cut my own hair because I just don't like barbers touching my hair because I'm never satisfied. So I'm going to cut my own hair today. I got to do that. I got to shave. We got to tan. We got a lot of shit to do. I got to go to the, uh, of course, you know, you always have an athlete's meeting where you do your last minute registrations, bodybuilding. They do the weigh-ins and the men's physique. They do the heights. Uh, and same thing for the bikinis and the uh, women's physique and things like that. So I got to do that around 5 or 6. I also got, also got to pick my son up around, what, 2.30, 2.45. Got to pick him up. So we got some shit to do, man. I mean, it's not really a... This was supposed to be a relaxed day where I was just chilling out, you know, hanging tight. But we actually got some shit to do, man. So uh, let me get this first meal in. I'm breaking a fast pretty early. I usually don't eat until around, what, 12.30, 1.30. Usually 1.30, really. Uh, but as you saw, I broke my fast with the coconut oil. I always let it sit in me, let it get digested, and then I hit my meal up. So uh, right now, you're going to be looking at 7 ounces of tilapia, and you're looking at 100 grams of broccoli. So pro tip, this is what I do for, well, not pro tip because I'm not a pro, but 
Just a quick tip right here. I break my broccoli down. Sorry. <laughs> I break my tilapia down to small, small pieces. And look at that. It makes it it makes me visualize a lot of food. And I also pick it up one by one to where I am continuously hitting the plate and chewing, thinking I'm eating a lot of food. So that's just a good little mental thing for me. And um, I had another tip for you guys. I can't remember what it was. Oh, a small fork. Always use a small fork. Makes it makes you also feel like you're eating a lot of food. Get a small fork because you can't get a lot of food on a, on a small one. And I usually use a small plate, but since I have seven ounces of sloppy right here, which is pretty different, uh, I went ahead and got the large plate. So well, let's get that in. Uh, Post-workout right here. Getting our veggies and our protein in. I'm also getting some things together for tomorrow show day. We got the honey, we got some salt, peanut butter, and we got some lightly salted rice cakes. And then we got our Snickers. Alright YouTube, so I got the cut, fresh cut right here, uh, wave tip with the plastic bag, if you're not a waver you don't know what I'm doing, but pretty much just finishing touches on it, getting it right, so yeah, that's the, that's the cut right there. So I finished up the cut, shaved a little bit, got the got a little hair on the chin. I like to keep that there, but now it's time to pose. So one thing about it is when you're one day out, you want to just continuously keep posing because you want to keep your body in that that mentality, that that posing, so the nose, your muscle groups are alert and just all that extra. So we about to get this posing in real quick. Good, good, good. Kiss the good. 